Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. So one of my favorite guitarists is the lead singer and guitarist from the band Y&T, Dave Minichetti. Now Y&T is just a great, you know, I guess mostly associated with the 80s band. And they've got a lot of great songs and great albums, you know, Mean Streak, Open Fire, Midnight in Tokyo, Forever. Those are just a few of my favorites. Oh, and Summertime Girls, I think that's probably their biggest hit. But if you're not familiar with YNT, you really should be. Uh, definitely check him out. But the main thing I want to talk about in this video is Dave Minichetti. I mean, he's a great lead vocalist, great songwriter, and an incredible guitarist in that kind of blues-based 80s rock style. There are basically two guitars that he is really associated with. One is this white Kramer, and the other one, I guess, is like a Cherry Sunburst classic Les Paul. And he still plays that guitar, and at this point, I mean, it's pretty road-worn, and you could say relics, but real-life relicking. And I've always wanted to get a guitar like that, but of course, doing some kind of relics like Gibson Custom Shop guitar is out of the question for me. So, you know, I love affordable stuff, so I'm always kind of keeping my eyes open for a cool uh, relic LP-style guitar that would fit that look. And thanks to Firefly, I finally found one. Now, if you look at this guitar, yeah, it's not like an exact replica or anything like that. Um, and I'm going to have to change the pickups to really capture that look. But if you're looking for uh, basically like a Cherry Sunburst, I think that they're calling this the Vintage Sunburst, you know, a Les Paul standard type guitar with just the binding on the body, no binding on the headstock, and with the pick guard removed, which is a key thing, uh, this, I think, is really close in capturing that look, but it's a Firefly guitar, so the coolest thing, this guitar only costs about $230. So when I saw this, you know, I, I couldn't help myself, of course. So I should mention that when you get this guitar, it comes with the pick guard, and then you have the option of removing the pick guard. And yeah, it leaves a couple of little holes, one on the surface of the body, one on the side, but the coolest thing is this is a relic guitar, so you don't even notice the uh, empty screw holes once you remove that pick guard. And honestly, this one, I think it looks better without the pick guard. So now, for a mere $230 plus tax and shipping, I can play all of my uh, favorite Y&T riffs on an almost authentic Les Paul style guitar. Now, let's go over the specs real quick. Um, but if you're familiar with the Firefly guitars of this body style, it's going to be the same uh, as the other stuff they've done. It's mahogany body, mahogany neck, uh, with the flame maple veneer top. Obviously, this is the relic version. Got the relicking on the back of the body, as well as the front. Um, and the whole guitar, you know, there's a little bit of relicking on the headstock here, like you whacked the headstock into something. Um, but the whole guitar, aside from that, has like a satin finish on it. And I should mention, some Relic-type guitars have the hardware relic as well. This one does not. It's really just the paint job that's relic. So yeah, spec-wise, mahogany body, mahogany neck, rosewood fretboard. It's got the 22 rounded ball-in stainless steel frets that everybody loves. And, you know, a couple of Firefly generic humbuckers. Uh, other than that, you know, it's a pretty standard Gibson-style guitar. Also, I weighed this guitar, and it's fairly hefty. It was 8.4 pounds, so if you're looking for a lightweight guitar, keep that in mind. Now, like I said, $230 for this guitar, but I should mention uh, they have a lot of single-cut Les Paul-style guitars uh, on the website, Guitars Garden, which is the Firefly website. They've got a lot of different guitars uh, on there right now and the relic models are actually some of the more expensive ones So if you want to save a few bucks and you don't want the relic look you can get like a standard gloss finish Save 20 or 30 dollars. They have some stuff. That's even under 200 dollars They've got a few in particular that are really cool like they've got one that has a Floyd Rose style bridge They've got one with the cool chameleon paint job that changes color depending on how you look at it. And with the Relic stuff, they have a few burst finishes like this. They even have a Relic gold top finish one. So as usual, I'll have links down in the video description below. You can go check out what's available. But now, let's go ahead and plug this in. I'll give you a few more sound samples of the different tones we can get out of this guitar. 
then we'll talk a little bit about the sound and playability, and then I want to talk a little bit more about YNT after we do the sound demo. So we'll go ahead and plug this in, but of course, real quick guys, if you enjoy videos like this, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, let's plug it in and listen to how it sounds. <laughs> Okay guys, so let's talk a little bit more about this guitar. So um, one thing that's a little interesting about this guitar is that I swear this guitar plays significantly better after I played it for like a couple of days, right? When I first got it out of the box, I mean, it, it could be just one of these like um, climatizing kind of things where you have to let the guitar adjust to the temperature and humidity where you are uh, after shipping. But I got the guitar out of the box tuned it, it played pretty good. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good, you know, $200 guitar, right? And um, it was fine, but I've been playing it more and more over the past maybe week and a half, two weeks maybe, before doing this video. And now, I mean, it's buttery now. Now it plays fantastic. Uh, obviously, if you're familiar with these stainless steel rounded ball in frets that a lot of these modern guitars are using, um, these are just super, super nice, really, really consistent frets. Um, and this, I mean, the, oh, this thing is so level, 
it's not even funny, but no buzzing, nothing like that. Now that I'm looking at it, I, I could actually give it a little bit more neck relief because it's like dead straight right now. But there's no reason to because I'm not having any, any problems with it. But um, yeah, I, I have not done any setup work to this guitar. Like I said, I got it out of the box, tuned it, played it, tuned it again, played it more, and now I'm making the video. So it's the stock strings, out of the box setup, uh, and this thing is awesome. The other thing that's really cool about it is with these pickups, they're kind of um, a little, little bit loose sounding pickups, kind of a nice raw organic sound to them. And I can get some really nice squeaky harmonics out of these things, you know, pinch harmonics and so forth, which I really like. And the playability and the sound of the guitar combined makes it, as you would expect, the perfect guitar to play those classic Y and T riffs. I rattled off a few songs earlier, but another one I forgot to mention is Black Tiger. Black Tiger, the, the opening riff to Black Tiger has this great um, sort of chromatic dun, 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 ba ba I mean, it's, it's such a cool riff. It's, you know, very unique riff. One of these riffs that once you've heard it, you instantly recognize it. And speaking of Y and T riffs, uh, I want to give a big shout out, not just, of course, to Dave Minichetti that wrote those riffs, but there's a guy here on YouTube uh, named Nick Layton, and I'm going to put a link to his channel down in the video description below. If you like those songs and a bunch of the other classic, like, iconic 80s songs, uh, he does a ton of really, really good videos on how to play all that stuff. And so if I'm listening to something, I'm like, man, I'm not sure if I'm really getting that riff right. I'll head on over to his channel, Nick Layton, uh, to make sure I'm playing him right. So if you like that stuff, definitely I want to give him a big shout out and definitely check out that stuff. I'll put a link down in the video description below. Okay, guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. Um, what do you guys think? Are you a fan of YNT, Dave Minichetti? Uh, do you like a nice classic sunburst Les Paul style guitar like this? Uh, yeah, it's great. I'm super happy with it. I am going to change the pickups to be, you know, open coil pickups, not covered, so I can really nail that look of, uh, of Dave's Les Paul and everything. But yeah, so far, I'm really, really happy with this guitar. So, guys, there's going to be links for everything I was talking about in the video down in the video description below. I'll have a link for this guitar, you know, and all the other uh, Les Paul style guitars that Firefly is selling. I'll have uh, a link for also the Fender GTX 100, which is the amplifier that I used for the demo. All that stuff, social media, everything down in the video description below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.